According to the criminal complaint, Ralph's first met the victim at an off campus party. The two then became friends on the app Snapchat. After communicating through the social media app, the victim claims Ralph's eventually sent her unsolicited pictures of his penis, so she blocked him. The two eventually reconnected, and last September, Ralph's picked up the victim from her dorm on the UWM campus. The two went back to Ralph's Elm Grove home, where police say he raped her. The criminal complaint says Ralph's, quote, held her down by her wrists, and that the victim, quote, told Ralph's several times no and to stop, but Ralph's continued the sexual assault. Yeah, it's just very sad to hear that these things um, are continuing to happen. Students at UWM are shocked to hear that something like this could happen to a classmate. And it's really sad that um, she probably, the girl that this happened to probably trusted the person that she was with. And so it's just important, especially for me being a girl, to be aware of my surroundings, be aware of who's around me, and I never like go anywhere alone. I make sure I have friends. We went to Ralph's home in Elm Grove. His parents answered the door but declined to comment. Tim Elliott is live near campus tonight. Tim, you also reached out to Ralph's attorney. Yes, Patrick, I reached out to his attorney this afternoon, although I have not heard back from him. Right now, Ralph's is facing several charges, including second degree sexual assault, strangulation and false imprisonment. If convicted on all three of those charges, he faces more than 50 years in prison. Tim Elliott live near the UWM campus.